For many new moms, those first few weeks at home with their new baby can seem like a blur, definitely. There's little sleep, little time to remember what you read or the advice you were given and how to care for your newborn. Not to mention any surprises that may come up. In tonight's special report, T. Ewing looks at a little known program helping new moms navigate that vulnerable time. She's our pride and joy. Her nickname is Sweetheart because that's exactly what she is, a little sweetheart. This little sweetheart's name is Jillian. She's the first for her mom, Sharon Hayes, who had everything planned out for Jillian's big arrival. A playlist, you know, for delivery room, pictures everywhere, mother and daughter outfits, and you have no control. Sharon had an emergency C-section. After a week in the hospital, she and baby were finally sent home, but their rough ride wasn't over. I was in such a panic because I was like anxious. I can't breastfeed. What's going on? So she called nurse Darlene Hepburn, who came to see her at home the very next day. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? Hepburn is a pediatric nurse at Rush Medical Center, which is one of four hospitals participating in Chicago's pilot for the Family Connects program. Developed at Duke University, this in home nurse service for families with newborns is popping up around the country. What we tell people, what really we do, is we check in with like um, the mom to make sure she's doing okay. We check in with and see how the baby's doing. On a typical visit, Hepburn says the Family Connects nurse will weigh the baby and then answer lots of questions about feeding, sleeping, and how the parents are doing. You always see like the Gerber baby and like you see pictures of people breastfeeding in a field of flowers and think that's the way it's supposed to be. And then it ends up being like you're like I'm wearing green pajama pants for like two weeks straight. I haven't showered and I haven't slept. In case you didn't know, Hepburn says that's all normal when taking care of a newborn. Oh, no, no, no. Since the city's public Health Department launched this program in March of 2020. They've helped nearly 4,000 Chicago families. Our plans are to expand to all 15 Chicago birthing hospitals here in the next year. And then any Chicago resident who gives birth in one of those 15 hospitals will be eligible for a visit once the program is expanded. Right now, this program is only at Rush Medical Center, Mount Sinai Hospital, University of Chicago Hospital, and Humboldt Park Health. So I remember taking a picture while I was in the hospital of a flyer on the board and it was the Family Connects and I said, okay, I'm going to call them. While Sharon reached out to Family Connects first, it's usually the other way around. Family Connects program visits um, families about three weeks after they've given birth. A nurse from either one of the participating hospitals or the city's public health department will call the family to see if they need any assistance. Chicago has a lot of resources, um, but many times the systems can be complicated and hard to navigate. Family Connects nurses can connect families with newborns with resources to help with everything from postpartum depression to scheduling doctor's appointments to understanding child care options. What a great mm. option yeah. that a lot of people don't know about. So is there a cost at all to it? You know, that's probably the best part, right? Because you're both parents. I'm yeah. expecting right now. And mm. so to hear no cost mm -hmm. and to hear the word free, it's free because it's all funded by a grant. And okay. it's offered only to Chicago families with newborns. And for more information on Family Connects program, you can go to Fox32Chicago.com. I hope a lot of moms out there take advantage of it. Thanks yeah. for telling us about it. Absolutely. Yeah, good yeah. to know about it. Mm -hmm.